the amazing double standard applied to Pakistan cricket. If you read the literature about Pakistan cricket, uh, first of all, you notice is there's very, very little of it. Uh, and the second thing you notice is that that part, which is written by Western, British, normally British writers, is um, very, quite often quite vindictive towards Pakistan. And it's rather anti. It regards Pakistan within the racial and social and other stereotypes which quite a lot of British people regarded, have regarded Pakistan for quite a long time. And so, you know, they, they sort of viewed as cheats and incompetents and buffoons. And whereas errors of deportment or behaviour by English players are regarded as really rather um, forgivable and a bit of sporting fun. Pakistan cricket has been, has been not without its uh, fair share of controversies, you know, ball tampering, match fixing. Uh, there certainly have been um, controversies, as you say, uh, ball tampering, as you say, match fixing and, and spot fixing and betting scandals. But that's one of the examples about the poor media coverage because other countries, India, South Africa, to some extent even England and Australia, have been drawn into these controversies. It's impossible to write about Pakistani cricket without covering some of the great characters that have um, cut, you know, spanned the last 50 years. Javed Minadad, um, Imran Khan. Minadad, who I think is the greatest batsman Pakistan have had, was portrayed in the British press as a sort of cheat, um, as a low-down a street urchin who diminished cricket. He brought with him some of the practices of street cricket in Karachi, but complete all the difference in the world between that and being unethical. Unfortunately, it's impossible to talk about Pakistani cricket without covering terrorism, particularly since the 2009 attacks on the Sri Lankan team bus. What impact do you think terrorism is having on Pakistani cricket currently, and what impact do you think it will have in the future? Well, it's an absolute tragedy, this. Um, there was no terrorism in Pakistan before 2001 when George W. Bush said that made that you're with us or against us uh, call to, to President Musharraf. Uh, and so it launched uh, Pakistan into this war against a section of its own population. Now, one of the uh, terrible consequences generally, but for cricket, um, there hasn't been any international test cricket in Pakistan since the um, attack by a militant group on the uh, on the Sri Lankan tour test match tourists in 2009. You know, really heavy attack, machine guns and lo rocket launchers and all the rest of it. None of the Sri Lankans were killed. That was a sh purely a matter of luck and the heroism of the Pakistani driver of the coach. Now, since then, the Pakistani team has been completely overseas all the time. It can't play at home. But Pakistan people are very committed to family, you know, uh, in very deep family links, and uh, and to be taken away from those, spend eleven months a year in hotel rooms, which are okay for a night or two, but soulless beyond that. It's been very tough, which is why I admire Musbah Al Haq, the Pakistan captain. And this remarkable figure has really made them all hang together, and function as a team, which is why I have to admit I can't help supporting them in the current series. And you recently went on tour to Pakistan. Um, how did it go? Did you have any success? We were determined to take a cricket team to Pakistan, uh, which we've done twice. The first time we went, we went to Lahore and to Karachi, played about eight or nine games. It was just fantastic. The reception we received was so incredibly kind and generous and the cricket was of such a fabulous standard. And then we took a team up to Chitral on the northwest frontier on the Afghan border, actually right up at the top of the Hindu Kush. I'm playing cricket in front of, underneath these enormous mountains, again receiving unbelievable kindness and hospitality and enthusiasm. It was just a joy. And any success? Did you get any wins? We, we never won a game in, in, in Chitral. We thought we might win because uh, you're playing against people who uh, have never played with a hard ball, and we asked to play hard ball cricket. But they they've only played with tape ball cricket, these, which is basically a reinforced tennis ball. But even with the transition to hard ball, uh, uh, which they'd never played before, 
they still wallop to. It's just an indication of the uh, real depth of talent and enthusiasm.